Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 232. I'm your host, Norman Santo. Joining me today is Wills. Hello there, Norman. Hey there, Wills. How are you doing, man? Oh, just fine. Just watched the new episode, all of its boat-filled fun. You know, we should get a boat, Norman. But it'd be great just just us, uh, us on a boat. You know, I can't even think of it being a show. You just like just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started aboard this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. Oh, Norman was a mighty sailing man, and Will was brave and sure. No passengers set sail that day because we're really boring. <laughs> it's a it's a really boring ride. No no one wants to sail this ship. Uh, tr- true. I mean, it's just a both of us. Yeah, he won't go far. <laughs> No, plus I don't know how to sail. I'd probably drive us right into the rocks. Uh, <laughs> so, probably. <laughs> but besides the point, yeah, today's episode was a fun one. Oh yeah, very fun, very fun. We won't spoil it here, but I definitely will say, uh, if you if you like he said she said tales, this is definitely the story for you. Yeah, <laughs> I was hoping Discord was involved somehow. <laughs> Oh, that would have been that would have been funny just to throw away a gag. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. But anywho, but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But anywho, uh, that that episode overall was a fun one. So, what do we got in the good old news today? This fine Saturday, Norman. Well, it's funny that you started off with a musical because it seems that uh, My Little Pony musical details release tour and ticket schedule. So, you remember that musical that happened in Mexico a while back? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I remember hearing about it. I have not seen it. Obviously, I don't live in Mexico, so <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Asia might have its own musical thing, and it's pretty interesting. It's a retelling of Rainbow Rocks in musical form, and huh. they're going to do the whole music thing. Um, most of the whole music, including the specials like "My Past Is Not Today," "Friends Throughout the Ages," and whatnot. And they're going for the whole shebang with um, uh, light things. You know, the stage plays and whatnot, like the stage plays. Yeah, well, it'll be cool. Uh, shame it's not, uh, they've only scheduled a couple places, apparently. And, you know, Jankara, Singapore, Manalia, and Bangkok. Well, let me just throw down $2,000 to go see this musical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think you meant to say it was Jakarta, Indonesia, Singapore, Manila, and Bangkok. And in Jakarta, Indonesia, uh, the ticket pricing goes as low as 15 American dollars and as high as 100 American dollars. Okay, so the difference between getting a seat that's squeaky and, you know, slightly wooden, maybe a few splinters, and then a luxury plush velvety red seat that is also has a footstool that is of a small orphan boy. <laughs> what? Well, you know, you gotta give those orphans jobs somehow. I don't think they would do that, but... Best part is every dollar that every dollar that they make, they donate to those orphans so they themselves can enjoy the wonders of pony musicals. <laughs> oh well, that's dark. <laughs> oh hey, hey, it's not that dark. It's very bright and cheerful. It's a very bright and cheerful little musical. And besides, who's carrying around the, all, all around all the props and the stage pieces? Those little orphans putting them to work. <laughs> I don't think so, but uh, that aside, the, the, if you live in Asia, do give this a shot because if you're in, in Indonesia, well, it's there. And in Singapore, it's there too. I mean, it's around the Southeast Asia region except for Malaysia. Ah, that sucks. <coughs> now get on a boat, man. I mean, come on. I mean, there's a bunch of islands around that area. It just... You can't be that far from any water. Technically, funny enough, um, I'm not far from Singapore. I could do it if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, have a have a nice boat trip over to it. Just, oh, um... oh, oh. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to be like in today's episode. <laughs> well, then just don't bring any cucumber sandwiches and you'll be fine. So, yep. 
Musicals. Well, everyone can get behind musicals mm-hmm. and singing. And speaking of singing, uh, wasn't uh, one of the next articles that we had about singing, too? Yeah, and I think we did, Will. Uh, <laughs> you don't acknowledge the segue. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, Kelly Metzinger, the voice behind Spitfire. Um, but before that, you, do you know, have you seen the new Equestria Girls, uh, Legend of Everfree? I did watch the Brazilian, uh, uh release mm-hmm. that was out. Yes, I, I watched that. I do plan on watching it again on Netflix probably tonight at work, yeah. uh, while I'm doing, while I'm doing work. <gasps> while I'm doing my job, and I will be always doing my job, but, you know, someone needs some entertainment to pass the time. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, for you people in the States, uh, Legend of Every is available on Netflix now. So. Yes, yay. go. It's on Netflix. Get just, heck, the, 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 there's the best part is it's like less expensive to get a Netflix membership right now than it is to go see a movie. So literally, you can only, you only have to pay, you know, six bucks to see the movie. And you don't even have to go into a crowded theater uh, filled with whining children. <laughs> so win-win. I true that, true that. But if you haven't seen the movie yet, the album's out. It's literally out everywhere. iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, and so on. It, it's out there. And like I mentioned before, the voice actress who played Spitfire voiced one of the characters, I think, is... Gloriosa Daisy, one of the other lead characters for the movie. And she's the singing voice behind her. So that's pretty interesting. Huh, who knew? Yeah, and um, Gloriosa Daisy does get a good song. I'm not going to spoil anything about the movie, but I do have to say it's a very good good song. Um, Daniel Ingram did some great jo- did, did He did he did a lot of hard work on this movie, and I can see why he said he had a lot of fun with it. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Kelly has some range. Whew. Yeah, that's um, a, little, a little bit surprising coming from you know one character. You're like, you know, you, you see this this character. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah, you got there. And then suddenly they belt out stuff like there's some Broadway singer. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, you you are probably the most well sung hippie I've seen in a long time. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, at the same time too, if you remember how Spitfire sounds, it's hmm, it's not it's not the same as what you would imagine. Hmm. No, no. But then again, it'd be kind of like finding out that you know, like the voice actress for Tree Hugger did like opera or something. Did she? <laughs> I I don't know, but that would be that would be just as interesting, eh? Yeah. And the news was leaked out by Ishur Del, the director for the movie, and yeah. I think in a tweet he mentioned, for those of you wondering who the amazing singer, singing voice for Gloriosa Daisy, it was none other than the talented Kelly Metzinger. So yay. Awesome. Well, that's very good. That's very nice of a director to show off his cast and crew. Yeah, but with this fandom to the cast and crew, <laughs> showing off the cast and crew <laughs> is kind of tradition. It's one of those things where Yay, you need to show them off so people can appreciate them. It's not like the old days. Well, hey, you know, she did a great job. It was a great singing part. And speaking of singing, we're we're going from musicals to singing to now talking about albums, which, unfortunately, we have to talk about the season that, for Americans, just keeps coming sooner and sooner (laughs) every goddamn year. Christmas! Specifically... A pony kind of Christmas album. And it's going to be coming. The physical album is coming out this October. So we won't even be done with the spooky, scary skeletons yet. No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to have to have the ponies singing about Christmas or hearts warming or just, you know, uh, non denominational wintertide festive greetings. <laughs> the musical. <laughs> yeah, you, you could do that. <laughs> Uh, but honestly, um, with this one, ooh, this one, this one, this one. A while back, we mentioned that they added a few songs to the CD, and those were the season six Christmas song. You remember those, right? Oh yeah, the uh, the one from Hearts Forming Tale. Mm-hmm. They added that into the album. So essentially, what this is is technically 
It is um, how do I even put this? It is in re- remix of an old album that was previously out there. Oh, okay. So it's a remix of their of the first Christmassy album. Yeah, with more stuff added. Yeah, because in the original album they only had ten songs, which is it's a pony kind of Christmas. It's a pony kind of Christmas to uh, the Hearts Carol. And they added another five more songs, which is from that episode. So it's like, hmm, okay, so what am I going to do? I'm not going to buy another... Okay. Well, now everyone knows how uh, game fans feel when uh, Treyarch or Infinity, whoever is producing Call of Duty, releases their stuff every year. Or whenever EA releases a new Madden. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's new about it? There's five new things, but everything else that was there originally is there. Yes. Why would I pay sixty bucks for this? Because you have no choice. Sports ball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, well, yeah, I did. Th- I did like the uh, the, uh, the the whole hearts forming tail musical stuff. Though to be fair, I kind of wanted. I, I, I kind of wanted them to go even further. Into the um, Christmas Carol sort of uh, mythos because I wanted them to go really dark. I mean, they they, they kind of went dark with it, but I went, I wanted them to go full on Christmas Carol dark. <laughs> like I would have loved if Pinky had two malnourished foals that she showed up. It's like, oh. who are these foals? It's like this is what, and this is ignorance. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> it's like her peppy. <laughs> I don't think that they could do that. But honestly, I do hope that you can just buy the five songs right out of the gate without buying the whole album. I mean, it'll be unfair for me, you know what I mean? Uh, Check iTunes. Don't they allow you to sometimes buy individual tracks? Yeah, true, true. Uh, No guarantees on this one. Yeah, unknown. But the album does drop on October 7th, so yay, that's cool. Okay, only six more days for that album there. So if folks want it, they can get it. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know what? I, in fact, actually, you know, that's that's kind of early. It's mm. kind of soon for them to be getting, uh, you know, a Christmas album. But you know what else is coming soon? And not for people, well, only for people in the UK? What? The show. What do you mean by the show? Well, it turns out, actually, that uh, Where the Apple Lies, the next episode, mm-hmm. is going to be airing early in the UK. How early are we talking about? Oh, I'd have to actually read the article, unfortunately. That's wait, impossible wait, 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 to tell wait, wait, wait. right now. We mentioned the Christmas album is coming out on the 7th, right? Yeah, the 7th. And I'm just popping into the article here. And let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Apple Eyes, a few days early, showing on Wednesday, October 5th. Wait a minute, the 5th? Yeah. You mean four days, we're going to have another Pony episode? In the UK. Okay, I guess the UK streamers better start, you know, <laughs> streaming because, you know, they're going to be popular now. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Invasion by the UK. So, great. So, they get the episode early. I mean, are we... How much of a delay did, are we? Do we have for like um, worldwide release then for like American or elsewhere? Well, for officially, the, how is airing in the states is there's one week. I think if I do do my research on the wiki, we should be getting an episode a week per usual until the well, let's see, until the end of the month. I think like once a week and what we have. Another, like, one, two, three, four. So, another four weeks till we finish the season? Yeah, okay. So, what? So, the UK is just gonna now have all their pony on Wednesday? No. What makes Wednesday, no. what makes Wednesday so special? No, no, we'll, 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 here's the thing. Uh, where the apple lies is Wednesday, October 5th. Top Bolt, Thursday, October 6th. To where and back again, part one, Friday, October 7th. To where and back again, part two, Saturday, October 8th. <laughs> Four straight days of episodes. My <laughs> gosh, as if the reviewers didn't have their work cut out for them already. <laughs> I mean, this, 
right? This is basically just this is basically saying to anyone who does analysis or reviews in this fandom, it's just like, oh, you think you're finally caught up? <laughs> 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 uh, poor Silver and poor other people. I mean, like, oh god. Oh gosh, you're not you 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 gotta get his reaction to this next time you do a show with him. Just heck heck, use the clip I just said. Of like, oh, you think you're gonna get cut up? Yeah, just just to give that to him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I probably will. But, but I'm wondering why, how, and why. Yeah, okay. Like, um, just... I did a bit of reading on this one, and apparently, as for season six of the Pony episodes. Um, they've been showing this back to backs every day. So let's see. Um, assuming this thing is correct, blah blah blah. It turns out the UK airs the episode every single day back to back. So we have an insane week of pony coming up. So yeah, back to back. That means twenty. Oof, that means I I I don't know how this is going to work because. 26 days of ponies, that's not even a month. Yeah, that's, well, well, it's almost a month that it was in February, but we're not in February. No. So, uh, geez, well, back to back to back, that's a, that's a lot of pones. Yep, yep. And if it's rerun pones, I don't mind, but this is new pones, like what? Yeah, I mean, that's almost unheard of for a TV channel to actually air new episodes. That close to each other. I mean, if, yeah, true. But if you really think about it, um, there was a quote unquote leak of, uh, Legend of Favorite Free, but that one was aired in Brazil officially. Yeah, the Brazilians get everything early for some reason. Yeah, but the, the, the thing is, it aired out early in Brazil and Discovery kids still haven't got it. So. Yeah, they probably got it. It's just a scheduling issue. Oh, well, it's just like already blocked in the schedule. Who knows, man? Who, who, who knows? I just, let's look at the positive here. That means literally this week, <laughs> we are going to see the entire, well, okay. I'm sure not everybody will, you know, see the leaks. Uh, they're not really leaks at this point. They're just going to be, yeah, everybody's going to be doing streaming daily now for this I thing. I don't know, but here's the thing, like people who, want to watch it raw like oh, this is going to be one of those cases where the scheduling is just all messed up because today's episode PPOV Pony Point of View that was on October 1st next week's episode is Where the Apple Lies is on October 8th Top Bolt is October 15th uh, and To Where and Back Again Part 1 and 2 October 22nd so that's going to be well, not that bad. Still a week, well, three weeks ahead of us. So we still, or we could, or we could just, you know, tune in to our friends in the UK and watch all the episodes before the first, before the next one's even released. Uh, yeah, yeah, true, <laughs> true, true. Um, I don't know. I mean, for me, I don't mind, but uh, I do want to support the official release in the states. Oh yeah, I'll just have some. I'll, I'll just have the tab open and have it being watched on the official on the official channel or whatnot. Uh, just have it open while I'm doing something else that's more productive, like playing Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, you've been playing, eh? Oh, the heck out of it. But yeah, um, I, I'll pro I'll probably watch them early because I'm a junkie. Got to have my poem <laughs> fix. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of shocked. Wow. Uh, that show so quick. Yeah. Dang. And it's one of those cases where it's, huh, this is strange and confusing. This is the first time that this has happened. Usually, uh, in the past, the only leaks that we got is some kind of iTunes leak or website leak where the episode shows up early, but never something like this, to this degree. Well, I do know between Friday and Saturday will be the most anticipated time because that'll be when they do the cliffhanger between the cliffhanger from the first part of the final episode to the conclusion of the final episode. <laughs> well, we, it's just, 
That's going to be the most tension time for some people. In fact, actually, I pretty much guarantee you, man, there is going, because of how many new episodes are going to be released, you are going to see an explosion oh, of fan content. God. Talking about explosion of fan content, like The Legend of Everfree, remember that? When that came out, uh, people were just drawing fan arts of it, and like, oh, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Plus almost every, uh, Everyone started playing that song again uh, about Twilight's new crush. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> I'm yelling timber. <laughs> oh god. Oh. 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 <clears throat> and now you got the song stuck in your oh, thanks head. Thanks a lot. But <laughs> you're welcome. But uh, yeah, just. The amount that expo- I mean, fan art, fan uh, music, uh, fan fiction. Oh gosh, film fiction was filled to the brim. I, th- I think probably eight out of the top fe- ten featured stories had to deal with um, Legends of yeah, Everfree. That's true. But PSA for you artists and creative types out there who are listening to this. Please be mindful and respectful to the people who have not seen the official release yet, because. People do want to keep themselves from spoilers, and if it's on Derpy Baru, the spoiler tag is there, but if it's on Divinart or even EQD, it's kind of hard to miss. Like, so please try tagging your things well. Yeah. Spoiler alert, Trixie saves oh, everyone. Oh god, thanks Will, you're fired. <laughs> you never hired me in the first oh, place. That's so true. I'm doing this. Oh. I broke in here. I'm a whole, uh, I broke in here. That's the only reason I got the job. <laughs> uh, Still haven't repaired the window. Oh, uh, great. Now you're putting sunlight in the fungeon. Great. Oh, hey, you need to brighten up this place somehow. So, yeah. We got new episodes, a bunch of singing, albums releasing. Mm-hmm. It's a good time to like poems. Yep. Especially with the 2017 movie coming out and how Legend of the Free ended. A lot of opportunities, a lot of open door for stories coming out. And who knows, maybe yeah. one day a video game. I, I, I'm hoping there's, I'm hoping they're setting up some sort of like, it just feels like they're setting up a, uh, either a magical girl, um, high school sort mm-hmm. of story now with the Equestrian Girls, or they're setting up some sort of super, uh, Sentai Power <laughs> Rangers sort of thing. Oh, that would be cool. But honestly, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, with how this show is going and with the 2017 movie coming out, it would be insane if they would mix the two worlds together just to make that movie work. Like, oh, where's Sunset Stream? Oh, there she is. Oh, yay, hello. And there, she go- there she goes. Bye-bye. Uh, they probably won't. They said it's going to take, the 2017 will be entirely Pony. in, uh, yeah. Pony Land. I mean, that's what the fans been asking for, and why not, right? Yeah. Well, actually, now I'm thinking about the Equestria Girls thing, you know, just, just them as, with all their superpowers, it's like, Rarities, the White Ranger. <laughs> Rainbow Dash is the Blue Ranger. Twilight Sparkle is the Purple Ranger. <laughs> And so, and Tree Hugger is the Green Ranger, dude. Far out. And Pinky will be the Pink Ranger. Well, obviously she's the Pink Ranger. Her name's Pinky to begin with. For gosh <laughs> sakes, this is obvious yeah. here. Fluttershy's the Yellow <laughs> Ranger, and then uh let's see who else. Applejack's the Orange <laughs> Ranger. Has there ever been an no. Orange Ranger? Yeah. It's like very odd color orange. Yep. Oh god. But still, but still, that, that fan theory is for another day. Uh, but as for now, we are out of news unless I go check on EQD and something new pops up. But I highly doubt it. Refresh, refresh. A five, a five, a five. Come on, give us nope. something new. Is this is? No. Well, yep. We're good. Yeah, we're good for this week, and do we do have a lot? We do have a lot. So anyway, for you guys at home. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And I am at Dorman Sanzo. You can tweet to me about anything. Like, I will reply to them and stuff. I also have a Tumblr, but <laughs> uh, who really uses Tumblr, right? <coughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also, Will, what about you? Well, if people want to reach me, why? I mean, seriously, okay, fine, if you really want to know. Uh, you can find me on Film Fiction, uh, uh, Will is in uh, Film Fiction, and for any of my writings, uh, which I never wrote. <laughs> <pay. laughs> you can also find my art on uh, DeviantArt, uh, Will is in a DeviantArt, which I never update. And then you can find my uh, Tumblr at Will is in a Tumblr, where I sometimes update. <laughs> Usually That's not a word. Posts. Oh, you do do the tumblers. <laughs> well, yeah, man. I gotta have my uh, a- a- annual. Um, I gotta have my daily amount of uh, cute cat pictures and ironic memes. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are there too. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also listen to us on PonyvilleLive dot com. And also, please subscribe to the newest show. The MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Ever wanted to hear Silver Quill Torment Sapphire Heart songs about her age or just her being young in general? It's there. Ever wanted to hear Sapphire try to rebut but fail utterly because she doesn't know a 90s reference like what's a floppy disk? You can hear it on that show. And also, want to hear me act cool like I'm the big boss of that show? Well, <laughs> well, you're never gonna hear that because uh, Norman can't control his own show. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> but if you want to see me crash and burn, is there? Anyway, um, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Will. Hey, our mateys. Let us sail forth on adventure. Yo-ho. Let's see you guys next week. See ya. Avast! Gayo, Gayo! <laughs> no! God damn it! Take that landlubber and string him up! How dare he bring that sort of blasphemy in my house!